Hello everyone, in this video we will show you how to add and use the messenger feature in your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Under the edit and test and go live section, click on edit. In your edit app section, go to the menu and on the top left, click on add feature. In this slide out menu, click on view all to see the list of features. Search for the Messenger feature and click on Add Future to add it to your app. You will now see the Messenger feature listed in my Feature section. When you hover over the feature, you will see multiple options like Hide the Future, Edit and Customize Future, and Delete Future. For more options, click on the keypad menu on the right and explore the options to move the feature up, down, top, bottom, or to another folder. Let's click on the Edit and Customize Future options to see how we can edit the future further. Here in the Edit Future section, you will see all the options you can explore and start using the future in your app. You can change the page name here. Click on the Change Icon section and this window will open up. Click on Select Icon where you will see multiple options for icons. You can further choose to see any solid or outline options. In the Select Image section, you will see loads of options for images that can be used as icons for your Messenger future. You can also upload a custom icon for Apple, Android, and website to make your app icon stand out. In the content section, you can fill out all the details under the Twilio calling info section, like Twilio account SID, Twilio API key, Twilio account secret key, authorization token, service SID, etc. You can click here to refer to the tutorial for help if you need it. Enter the push credentials for Android here and click on this icon here for more information on how to on how to do this next. Next, enter the push credentials for iOS here and click on the icon here for information on this. Now that we're done with the content section, let's move to the design section. In the page style and color scheme section, you can click here to see the multiple background image options provided by our platform or choose a solid color or upload a custom image to be used as the app background. You can choose to use the same image for both portrait and landscape mode or use different ones for both. Scroll down and you will see the page elements, color, font size, menu, submenu, font, and style settings. You can also choose to hide or show the resize confirmation button with the toggle button. Next, go to the in-app settings. Here you can enable or disable in-app for your app with a simple toggle action. Here you can add the Android and iOS payment credentials. You can also find relevant tutorials for the process by clicking here. Scroll down and add your Android payment receipt credentials. You can choose to use these credentials as global credentials. Go to the advanced settings segment and here you can enable disable audio video calls and choose to show phone book contacts only with the toggle buttons displayed next to the options. Now go to the language settings sections and check whether you want to add or edit any, edit any field. All the edits and changes will save automatically but you can also save them manually. As soon as you click publish, you will be able to see all the changes immediately.